To begin, review all warning and risk factors before starting the assembly of your Infinity Dock System. In this video, we will be covering assembly instructions for the RS4, RS7, TS9, accessory connection system, use, removal, storage, and service for the RS4, RS7, TS9. Assembly instructions. To begin, you will need a 9 16th inch wrench, a measuring tape, and as an optional tool, a level. After determining the layout of your dock system, install all leg pockets according to their instructions. The number and location of leg pockets will depend on the specific layout and the type of leg posts. Attach one foot pad to each leg post. Secure leg post with one one half by one and one fourth set screw and one one half square nut per leg. Determine which side of the dock frame will be connected to other sections. Insert one three eight nut into each connector clip and thread the 3 8 by 1 and 1 half T-handle through it just so they stay together. Attach connector clips to the rail. Secure with 1 3 8 by 1 carriage bolt and 1 3 8 flange nut. The carriage bolt head inserts into the opening in the bottom slot of the rail and attaches to the connector clip. Place the connector clip 6 inches or less in from the corner. Now the first frame can be carried into place. Place the second frame into the connector clips of the first. Secure by tightening the 3 8 by 1 and 1 half T-handle. When all dock frames are in place, adjust the level of the dock sections as needed using the adjustable leg posts. Leg caps are included for each corner tube that is not used or does not have a leg post above the deck surface. The leg posts that are above the deck surface may be covered with a blue cap. Accessory Connection System The RS4, RS7, TS9, and FTS9 Shoremaster dock systems have many accessory options. Contact your dealer or visit www.shopshoremaster.com to purchase available accessories. The accessory connection system works by utilizing a built-in connection system on the dock frame and accessory connectors to securely fasten any accessory to the dock. There are three accessory connectors available, one for RS4, one for RS7, and one for the TS9 and FTS9. The accessory connectors come with four carriage bolts and flange nuts to secure the accessory to the accessory connector. Installation is quick and easy. Simply secure the accessory connector to the accessory plate using the provided carriage bolts and flange nuts. Slip the top flange of the accessory connector into the top slot on the dock frame and hinge so it is tight against the dock frame. Thread the provided T-handle into the bottom of the connector so that the T-handle locks into the slot in the bottom of the dock frame. Use, Removal, Storage, and Service the dock system must be removed from water during the winter months. Warranty is void if dock is exposed to ice conditions. You may remove each frame with panels in place, or you can remove the panels before detaching the frames. Stack panels on a flat surface and store them in a dry area to preserve life. Inspect frames, panels, connections, nuts, and bolts at least once every six months for damage, wear, or loose connections. Tighten or replace parts as needed. Shoremaster dealers usually offer service visits. Please contact them if you are unable or unwilling to perform service to docks.